I have a head scratcher of a case that I would love to share with everybody and hopefully somebody has some idea of what's going on. So in this live action happening now, no diagnosis yet edition of Do You Want to Be a Vet? Meet Dolly. She is an approximately 14 week old miniature Aussie doodle that presented to the hospital a few weeks ago with Parvo at which time she was surrendered to the hospital because the owners were unable to afford her care. She was successfully treated for Parvo and recovered fully until a few days ago when she started showing some hind end weakness. The first day that it was noticed, the puppy was just, you know, kind of in sitting position and wouldn't move its back legs, but had full function, seemingly full function of its front legs. But this has since progressed to weakness in the front legs as well. She has always been totally mentally appropriate, happy, bright, alert, responsive. She has always had good motor function of her tail. Pain response is intact in both hind legs. It's unknown exactly how much control she has of her bladder, but she has not shown any retention and she is able to urinate on her own. She does have frequent accidents, but we think that's more of the fact that she just can't walk around to you know, go to the bathroom. She did have about three or four days straight of not having any stools for which she needed an enema yesterday. So it is unsure how much the colon is affected. She did not show any signs of pain with spinal palpation. Surprisingly, conscious proprioception seems to be intact with proper placing in all four legs, but was unable to complete the hopping test. So, hive mind, what's the diagnosis?